So once you've created the brand colors for your website and chosen, uh, created that video on choosing brand colors and the psychology behind specific colors for your site and why some colors would work better for your purpose versus others. So be sure to watch that video on branding. Now in this video, we're going to discuss website wireframes and why creating a wireframe is just super important. It'll save you time and money and help you from a strategic level in deciding what your website should have based on your goals. So as I said I, earlier in the branding video that I'm rebranding my site and while doing that I'm also going to restructure some of the elements of my site based on analytics and some of the information I receive from my analytics software. I'm just using Google Analytics. It's free. It's easy to implement, easy to use. But based on that information, um, I learned that there are specific pages that people are more interested in and uh, based on a certain target market. So in my case, I'm going to go, like there are various ways I can execute this, but as you can see, my current top level navigation is, well, of course, the logo, but the nav is this area right here. You see this patterned area on top? That's the top level navigation. Everything at the bottom here, that's the sub navigation. That's the second level. So this is my home page, which is the index page of your site. And then there's the top nav content of your home page. So this is the content of the home page. And this right here is the content of the top level navigation. And each of these has sub navigation elements. And you can see it has a certain structure to it. There's a testimonials section, it's on the left. And then there's some content over here and I'm implementing Google custom search, but you can use a search box wherever you want. And uh, there's some contact information. And I removed my contact form earlier because there was, I, I, I was working on a really busy contract and I did not want to receive uh, new messages and so I basically removed the contact form. But one of the things I learned over the last couple of years is that I used to have this about me page and people were really curious about the about me page and I attracted clients that were basically in line with what I'm about and with what I would like to do. So in my future website in the next revision as you say for a website for my website, I would like to create an about me page. And there are a few things that I've done to revamp the navigation. So in this case, I realized that it's best to just have a few items. And this is just a first round. So there's going to be a bunch more things that I'd like to in include. But when you're creating your, your wireframe, you could use a tool as simple as Excel. Excel is not a bad idea if you don't have, if you're not interested in, you know, spending a lot or you don't like the visual wireframe, you just want to have a grid format. Excel is great because it's a very grid format. You can hand that off to your developers and, you know, you don't care too much about the look and feel or, you know, on a, at a very basic level, collecting information, I like to put it in, in Excel. Now, I could also add items in here. So, for example, if I want to go in and just say JavaScript, I could add that. That's another skill. And I can keep adding items in this column as I see fit. And this is just to show you an example. This is not the final revision, um, but if you're ready to create a wireframe, just do a search for wireframe template in Google, and you'll come up with something that looks like this. If you do a search, you'll see that there's wireframe templates. They're all free for the most part. At least I haven't seen anything that I've had to pay for at this point, so it's a great tool. 
And as you can see, there are mobile templates, and then there are actual, there's even iPad templates, which is very handy. If we go to the front page of a wireframe template, I'm going to open that in a new tab, holding the control key, I can just say use this template. And it's very easy to use. I mean, I can just go in here, double click, and instead of example.com, you know, or I could type that in lowercase letters if I want to. I could edit the heading content. I could say click the button for more details. I could even remove this. I could remove all of this and just have the featured carousel. This would you uh, look at this previous and next arrows with it's basically a carousel feature in jQuery. I could change the size of these. I can even remove it all together if I want to. So for example, I'm just going to do that, and you can perfect it later. And if you just want, you know, two items featured, or if you don't want to have that, you just want to use this to basically have people scroll, you could do that. So it's very easy to basically create a visual wireframe that you can later on say, Maybe you are a designer, or maybe you want to hire a designer, but you want to give them an idea of the structure of your site. Or you could say, hey, I would like someone to help me create a wireframe for my website. So in my case, I don't want to have the logo. Well, I do want to have the logo there, but I don't need all this sectional information. So I'm going to do a Control X. Control X will remove these boxes. It's basically cut them all out. Delete doesn't always work in this case. Maybe I want to move get control Z to undo something. But see how easy this is. I mean, you could spend more time perfecting all this, but I'm just kind of moving items around. And you see how nice and easy it is. I mean, so you can work on that later, but this is just to show you an example of creating your wireframes. Now, you could even remove any of these items. You could you know, edit any of these. They also have a product detail page, which is very cool. You could open that in a new tab. Let's say use this template. And by the time that opens, I'm going to go back here. And I could look at all these. You see all of these? This is very cool because you could literally just take this and drag this in here. And, you know, you could change the color of this box. You could delete this content. Just have a bunch of image boxes, if you will. So, let's see here. If I could get that box, there we go. And, okay, control X. Do you see how easy it is? And, you could even add an image. So if you have images already and you want to resize them, you could add an image. And then you basically, none of the, your website is encoded yet, but your designer can take it and say, hey, you know, I'd like to design from here. It's your starting point. Or you could just even hand this over to your developer and say, hey. Or you could use the website series on how to build a website where I'll show you how you could, from start to finish, create a very basic website and uh, even have some advanced features in some cases.
But this is as far as website wireframes go. If you'd like to invest some money, some of the cool websites available for creating your wireframes, in my opinion, have been Balsamic. They have a free trial. You could go ahead and check it out. So fully functional for seven days. Or you could use this Flare Builder. Um, I like this site for building UIs, and UIs just mean user interfaces, and interface is just the look and feel of a product, you know, the design interface. How it interacts is your user interaction, and how you and where you place these items is the experience. That's where user experience comes from, uh, and how do you know which to place where comes from a lot of homepage uh, research and uh, a lot of research that's done on the psychology of websites and why people create, uh, why people click on specific areas of your site. So anyway, Fluid is really great to design mobile apps and uh, you could try that out. You just get a email account, I mean, get an account over here and try that out. Uh, there's iPhone mockup. Uh, but in my opinion, if you're looking for something really simple, it's a good starting point for creating your wireframes. So go ahead, give it a try. And in the next video, we're going to discuss how you can take your wireframe and uh, Start building out your site. Start building out at least the basic version of your site.